Christmas marks the one year anniversary of this channel. In that time, my videos have been viewed over 42,000 times. Going by time watched, you have collectively spent more than 34 days watching my videos. I've gone from zero to over 200 subscribers. This channel also helped me meet one of my idols earlier this year. I couldn't have done any of this without your support. As a thank you, I'm taking you on a field trip to the site where Nikola Tesla's lab once stood. Also look for some awesome reaction videos that will be posted over the next several days. Tesla works here from May of 1899 to January 1900. He told reporters that he was working on transmitting telegraphs wirelessly from Pikes Peak to Paris. While here, he investigated atmospheric electricity and generated artificial lightning. The lightning bolts he generated reached over 100 feet in length, and the thunder from them could be heard as far away as Cripple Creek. His experiments repeatedly caused city power outages. Tesla abandoned his lab in January of 1900, and in 1905, after being sold for the value of its lumber, the lab was torn down. A subdivision was built in the 1930s, so finding the site of his lab can be difficult. Using several different sources, including a great video from the Pikes Peak Library District, which will be linked in the description, as well as photographs from the time period, I believe I've located, within 100 feet or so, the location of his lab. The lab was probably located right here, at the corner of North Foot Avenue and Kiowa Street, and specifically where the house behind me is now. The lab was about 50 feet by 60 feet, and had a 200-foot antenna above it, topped with a copper ball. The pictures seem to show the lab on top of a gentle hill, which is what we have here. Photographs looking southeast show the Union Printer's home in the background. The subdivision now blocks the view, but it is a couple blocks in that direction. Looking west... In the pictures, we see in the distance a building that is part of the Colorado School for the Deaf and Blind. The building was torn down, but rebuilt in pretty much the same place, and it can be seen just down that road. Now let's walk to a nearby park. Here we have a historic marker dedicated to Nikola Tesla, and it has this little plaque as well. It says the world-famous experimental laboratory of Nikola Tesla stood near this location in 1899. It was in this facility on North Foot Avenue that Tesla felt he made his most important discoveries. Tesla was born in Croatia, now part of Yugoslavia, and was one of the world's greatest electrical geniuses. A technical museum in Belgrade now houses Tesla's memorabilia, among which are records of experiments he conducted in Colorado Springs. Tesla devoted his life to electrical research and is credited with the significant pioneer work in the field of alternating currents. The machinery plates on a, the first power installations at Niagara Falls acknowledge that his inventions were employed in this great feat. His many patents helped determine the course of industrial history. Tesla prides the United States citizenship papers more than his score of citations and honors he received from the great universities and scientific societies of his adopted country and Europe. This marker is made possible by the Historical Society of the Pikes Peak Region and the Colorado Springs Park and Recreation Departments. If you notice, this marker is really old by the fact it still says that Croatia is part of Yugoslavia. <laughs> 